So Michael, I get a lot of the same questions from buyers and sellers kind of year after year. And mm -hmm. I wanted to kind of bring up one of them that came up just yesterday. Uh, working with some buyers, we've been looking for a few months. And the husband asked, you know, when are we going to see more inventory? Now that it's January and the new year, is there kind of a trend or um, a time of year where things start coming to the market? Yeah, historically, it's normally they start dribbling in after the Super Bowl, talked about, and then in spring, you know, after the rains have stopped, no one wants to make everything look pretty and then it rains, you know. So after the rains stop, um, it, we'll start seeing more and more inventory come out. Now, history isn't really holding the way it has in the past, and, you know, there's such... Um, inventory shortage right now for the demand that's out there for buyers um, every I mean think about the last five offers you put in you know there's five offers seven offers 12 offers you know on this property so, I mean, only one person gets it and then there's 10 people that are still clamoring for a house it's being driven from you know COVID and people coming from metropolitan areas over to the beach they're not going back to the offices, so we're, we're getting a huge spike over here. We lost 1,100 homes in the fires this year. They have to have somewhere to live. They don't want to relocate. So we don't even have that inventory, right? right? Yeah. Well, and I remember I was looking at the numbers and we were talking about this on Tuesday, yeah. that uh, new listings in December, uh, just a few weeks ago, totaled about 138, mm -hmm. uh, and that's up 67% compared to December of 2019, where it was only I think, 45 yeah. uh, that came to the market. So yeah. I think we're already at that elevated kind of inventory level. We're not going to see that huge spike that we normally do. Um, well, I'm hoping we see that huge spike, Liz, <laughs> because we, you know, we're clamoring for properties right now. So anybody that's looking to sell, you're going to get the maximum amount of dollar that you are ever have been able to sell a property for in California. And Prop 19 is going to incentivize some folks. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. We'll talk yeah. more. I think that's going to be a question that a lot of people are going to have yeah. in February. Yeah. So we can do a little video on that one. All right. Thanks, Liz. Thanks.